turn it up. Slow, turn it up. Slow, turn it up. Fast, 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 turn it up. 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 That was a good energy to come back from that black hole. Thank you so much for our viewers that stayed tuned and for you know for that patience. Well, that was a, that was a countrywide black hole, but nevertheless, we worked out things. And it's time for our third and last conversation here in Sun Upon Seven. Let me introduce our guests. We have the executive director of Peace Work Belize and two students from the University of Miami, uh, Paige Brala and Miss Aisha Amir. Good morning to you too, students. Good morning. morning. Miss Carol Bob, sorry. I just Good morning, I know, that's director. okay. Good morning. <laughs> thank you for and being for here, having us. Bob. Yes. Thank thanks you. for coming back, because guys, uh, you know, with the whole country, right? It was, it was out, a tornado We're thing. like, you know what? <laughs> no, 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 when this thing I come on back, they're like, okay, we're going to go, we're going to buy orange, all of that happened. Right. Well, whenever I get to get the whenever orange, I get the turn orange. right back, come here, and we're ready for this conversation, because... <laughs> A lot has been taking place. We're actually at the third day of the training, so we're going to get into that juiciness and so forth and find out about the good things that some standard six students are being able to look forward to. All right. So, so let's talk about the collaboration, how it started between the okay, uh, so, Peacework Belize um, and the University of Miami. Peacework Belize is a child of Peacework International. Ah. And so Peacework International made the collaboration, made the contact with the University of Miami and then Steve Dar, who is the executive director of the Peacework International, said to me that we have this opportunity for the University of Miami to come to Belize. And I said, since they are a business school, I would like them to do financial literacy, something which I'm very passionate about yeah. and which is very much needed. And so here we are, we have two of the students, Paige recently graduated, mm -hmm. and Aisha has one more heir. Yes. And so I'm very happy to have these young ladies and they have been working. We have eight students and three professors who are here with us. Yesterday, we had a very, very interesting um, workshop on social emotional learning. Oh, wow. Nice. That's a conversation that we need to have. Oh, we, yes. <laughs> so I, I know Renata, you will love it. And so will you, Kevin. I definitely will. And big on that. So um, with everything that is going on with our youth, not only our youth, with us too. Even adults, we are going through a difficult time. Some of us are struggling with the post-pandemic issues and everything else at the workplace and everything else. So, but I'm very happy to have these two young ladies to tell you what they have been doing and what they'll do tomorrow. Right, so let's start with you, Paige. How, how has your overall feel since you've been in Belize and now participating in these skills building sessions been for you? Yeah, so we've been here for two days. Um, it's been crazy and exciting all at the same time. Um, we have been working at Queen Square with the standard six students. We are working in three different classrooms with about 12 to 15 students each um, working on financial literacy. So the, fast two, oh, the last two days, excuse me, have been um, focused on financial literacy training, budgeting, saving, what are your needs versus wants, making sure that you're earning money to pay for these things. And then today we are going to start the entrepreneurship portion of our course um, to work um, on creating some ideas for some small businesses. The students seem to be really, really excited about this. And so that makes us excited as Definitely. well. They're going to yeah. get their little side hustle on. <laughs> <Exactly>. yes, yes. <laughs> so Aisha, can you tell us a little bit too also, um, you've been having these conversations with these students. I'm sure there's, like you mentioned, there's three different classes that you're yeah. working with. So you have a wide range of mm -hmm. variety to work mm -hmm. with. What has been some of the feedback that people have been saying, you know, learning about this? I know Dr. Bob said was yesterday social and emotional intelligence big and thinking about standard six, maybe their mind isn't thinking about that. How has these conversations been gravitating and evolving? Right. So I think one of the things that we've been very like cognizant about since we've been here and we've had multiple conversations with Dr. Bab about this as well, is that a lot of these students haven't been in school, right? Because of COVID, um, it's been almost two years that they just have not been inside a classroom and been learning that way that, you know, the normal way, the pre-pandemic way that they used to learn. So we've been very, very conscious about that when we were developing our curriculum. And we see that, we see the effects of that inside the classroom when we're talking to these kids, you know, when we're doing certain, we're leading certain activities. So on our end, what we've tried to do, and we learned this from the social emotional learning workshop yesterday as well, is being very conscious of where the students are and adapting on the ground, right? So we, we did came with a plan and, you know, our curriculum, we designed it. It's like a 
20-page workbook that we're slowly working through. And so we do have that in our minds. But what we're also trying to do is like working with the students on the ground and as what they need, we're providing with that, we're providing them with. And, you know, just like making sure that as we're going it day by day, the students are getting the most out of it wherever they may be, right? So we're at whatever level of development that they are at and what they're trying to get out of the workshop, we, we're ensuring that they're getting. Um, and on our end, that looks like a lot of adaptability. Every single night we huddle as a team, we sit down, you know, we reflect on what we've learned throughout the day, what we can make better for the next day. Um, and, you know, so far it seems to be working. We'll see how it goes for the rest of the week. I just want to say, before we even get into more of the conversation, I love the energy that you guys are giving right now. It really shows, like, this is the energy of a teacher people that want to give and instill knowledge for mm -hmm. our young people and want to listen to them as well to provide what they need and not just talk at them right. because what's important is you have all this knowledge and everything you're studying you know you're gra you graduated you're going to be working and everything so you already have something in your mind but to be able to know that you have to fit into this country what they need is super important and so i just want to thank you guys <clears throat> for that for keeping your mind open in that manner. yeah thank you yeah. Um, and I will say like a lot of that is, you know, where we come from, the University of Miami. We have certain like curriculums that are designed for us to be more conscious about the decisions that we're making. Because at the end of the day, we are representing our school wherever we go. Um, and so, you know, that's something that we're consciously learning in our classrooms and then bringing that with us wherever we go. So thanks to them, we're, we're, we're working through it slowly. And we're talking about entrepreneurship. Big, with Abo was said, hustle. Side, hustle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Money need for make. As a lot of Belizeans know that, you know, things are hard, but to be able to find a way to produce another outcome, another income, sorry, mm -hmm. is super, super important. Right. And, and, and young people. Find your skill and be like, okay, this is this mm -hmm. is my talent, this is yeah, my skill I, got I have, this. and what I can. Exactly. Mm -hmm. like make that money, make that <laughs> money, right? Yeah. Yeah. But what? under six people, I and mean, Dr. Bob know, like, a lot of times we're thinking, like, how do we generate this money? Like, how does this conversation come about? Like, where does the money, because we need sometimes investment. Like, how do we start this? So today's the first day that we're doing mm -hmm. entrepreneurship. Is there, I know you said you guys kind of map it based on the needs and everything, but going into, I know you have a skeleton to work with. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us a little bit about what are the aspects that are going to be taught to these students today? Yeah, definitely. So the first thing today is we're just going to do talk about some of the characteristics of entrepreneurs and basically get across the point that an entrepreneur can be anyone. And so that's what's really important that we want to get across to the students is you don't need to be super creative or you don't need to want to make money. Like it's about having a passion for something and being able to just bring it to your community. And so that's like the biggest message I think we want to get across. Um, and then we will also be talking about um, brainstorming, doing some brainstorming activities, coming up with ideas that also match some of these um, characteristics that the students have. And then we're going to talk about some of the ways to promote your business, some of the ways that you could get funding, etc. Cool. So we're trying to really just give like a very broad base so that if the students want to continue to pursue their businesses, that they can do so. Wow. So what I'm hearing is every single student basically is going to be walking out of this training with their idea of what their side hustle is, but also a plan to a certain degree. It's mm -hmm. not just like, oh, I want to um, sell mangoes a specific type of way mm -hmm. on this corner of the side or whatever it is. It's going to be understanding how do I sell these mangoes? How can yes. I get funding to sell these mangoes? How much the bag costs? Like how should I price my mangoes and all these? Exactly. So all of that they're going to be getting at the end of this workshop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow. wow. So each, each student will come up with a business plan. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. the intention. So even if you are not thinking of becoming an entrepreneur, this training put it will, put it, will yeah. you, help you to identify what you are good at it's and exactly. develop it so that you can earn money because we are teaching them, I mean, yesterday and Monday, you guys are teaching them about saving. So mm -hmm. the student might say, how can I save? when my parents can't afford to save for me. So mm -hmm. we are giving them opportunities where they can earn. And they are using Jesita Learns to Save. Oh, I love it. And they love, I don't know if they love the Jesita song as well. <laughs> <laughs> and they can, and they were we dancing. Love, they want to TikTok. We, they want to yeah. TikTok. They want to TikTok. They're ready to TikTok. Yeah, we're oh, so they're going to do TikTok. TikToks. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we're going to yeah. prepare our dances. We've Tomorrow. been dancing yesterday. We, we had like a little yeah. practice session. It's always some fun um, sessions, man. Yes. yes. They are. Yeah, we're really getting to know the kids as well. And I think something that we've noticed already is that a lot of the students, like, 
they've already expressed the desire to want to own their own business and to want to be doing these things. And that's really encouraging for us to see that, you know, um, we can, you know, help provide them with a little bit of guidance to, to be able to do that and to be able to have that concrete idea. And we're having fun on the side with all the TikToks and all the dances. Uh, so it's going well. Yeah. And it's good that, uh, that this level of knowledge is getting parted from an early age. Mm -hmm. um, yes. Given that yes. From, from, a, from that start, you're able to identify skills, identify right. your community, you know, what things you can do to, to improve yourself. So that's definitely beautiful. And we're hearing only Queen Street, uh, only Queen, Queen Square, Square Anglican, uh, Anglican right now. benefiting from this. Right. What's the plan for... But remember, for your... um, previously I worked at three other schools sponsored by the U.S. Embassy. Yeah. Okay. So my intention is to work with all the outside schools. But so I have already done three schools. This is my fourth school. I told them that this school has a special place in my heart. I was principal there. I started teaching at the age of 16 at that school. Oh, wow. wow. Yes. So... You do your uh, thing. Okay. Yes. So, um, so we, we realize that financial literacy is very, very important. And my intention is to try to create a pathway out of poverty. Mm -hmm. and, and as you know, um, Renata and Kevin, that we have a culture where we think that it's okay to beg. Oh, so yes. we are trying to, be, to, to break that culture. Yes, you might not be able to save right now. But with all these business ideas, you can create your own business, earn your own money, you know, and, yeah. and be, you know, with safe people, because these are young children, too. Yeah. And, and with, to be what's, taken what's advantage also, right. also valuable is that this information can translate to the parents. And mm -hmm. so like the students, they will learn something and they may be like, mom, I see you're struggling here, but I see you're good at this. So like, this is what I learned and this is what mm -hmm. you can apply for yourself. So it's, it's just... Especially with budgeting, uh -huh. too. Yes. So they were they did budgeting when yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. so they are not earning money per se, but even with their with their um the money that they get every week. Yeah, for allowance. For allowance, they can do a budget, and then they can help their parents. They can teach their parents about budgeting. Mm -hmm. I yeah. feel like this is just super exciting because. At standard six, you know, you're really kind of about to venture into high school. Right. So that's when you're kind of putting on your big boy, big girl pants and everything. And to have a business plan going into that, to have an idea of budgeting your money going into that, I think these are necessary tools that these kids can build on and understand and find their path even more for. Mm -hmm. And so I know you mentioned that you're going to try to re reach out to all the Southside schools in Belize City. Is this going to be like the, these ladies last time? Are going to be more partnerships with them? Is it going to be like a follow-up? Do we just lead them with the business plan and wonder what happens after they're like, what then happens after maybe like six months, a year or so forth? Because, you know, people sometimes do need that push to understand, okay, what's happening with this business? Is it sinking? Is it, is it you know, mm -hmm. soaring? What's happening? Yeah, we're hoping to continue the partnership as much as possible. Obviously, as we saw, the pandemic of the future is unknown. So just trying to stay in touch as much as possible, I think, is our plan. Awesome. So maybe there's going to be some type of mentorship still happening along the line Absolutely. for these kids to Absolutely. get that business. Because I know you guys mentioned too as well, a part of your school is some of the students do their own side hustles mm -hmm. as well. They do right. their own thing. Yeah. And I think that is perfect because they're not only teaching about it, but you guys are actually practicing it as mm -hmm. well. Absolutely. So and I, I have worked with Peacework International and we have, um, they have brought literally hundreds of volunteers Ooh, love that <laughs> and i can tell you the kind of relationship that people develop i am sure that aisha and Paige will select one person who they would want to keep one or more absolutely you you know i have known one one young man he's actually living in the states and he met that lady through peace work oh, wow. we had a camp a youth camp in corazal and that is where he met her and we have had a number of Belizeans who have benefited from these teams coming to Belize to share their knowledge, to share their skills and their resources. It's about that partnership. It's you know, the partnership, build building relationship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Harmonious relationships. And I just, exactly. again, just want to thank you ladies so much for being thank here. You. It's five days. That's a lot you can put into five days. I'm sure these students, you have so much students to be working with, but <laughs> that's the excitement about it because there's so much different personalities. Yeah. I'm, Sure, getting stories. And on that same note, like, what has been maybe one of the big wows of being in Belize? Is this is your first time being in Belize? Yeah. Yes. So, both of you, <laughs> what has been the big wow thus far living in Belize and just, like, dealing with all of these students? Um, for me, I think it's the culture. Um, I've traveled a little bit, but there's something really special about the people of Belize. I feel like everyone's just been so welcome and so open and really wanted to, like, 
get to know us and the students as well. It just has been so kind and welcoming to us and everyone we've met at the restaurants that we've been to. And um, we've met some like entrepreneurs in the mornings and stuff like that. And I think that everyone's just been so kind. And I think that was just really special to me. That left yeah. That. How about you, Aisha? I can also add, I mean, I completely agree with whatever Paige said. And also I think that sense of community and Belize we've really been feeling in our conversations with the children as well. Something that's been coming up a lot is they talk about like, wanting to help the community, wanting to help the people around them at such a young age. And that really has been such a common theme. Everyone we talk to, you know, even Dr. Bab, she's doing such incredible work for the community. And that's been such a, you know, that's been incredible to see and observe and to see that from children to like people, older people. And um, I think that's been very, very special. And like Paige said, everyone has been so welcoming towards us, you know, wherever we go, we're just getting the biggest smiles and, you know, the conversations that we have, they've been very, very enlight enlightening to me. And I know that it's only been three days, but already this trip means a lot to me and I've learned so much. Um, and I'm very excited to, you know, learn even more as we go on uh, through wow. the rest of the trip. I love it. Thank you for sharing that. I just want to like resonate the thanks from Renata for taking the time to come to Belize and, uh, you know, leaving this, uh, leaving this imprint on, on students, which is, I'm sure they're going to remember it for the rest of their lives. So I want to say thank you. Thank you, Dr. Carol Bob, <laughs> for the work you're doing. You're always doing awesome that. stuff. Yes. Thank you. And we look forward but, to your next visit. Okay, but before we leave, I mm -hmm. want... Oh. Paige and um and Aisha to tell you what's going yes. to happen tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Yes. okay. So Very exciting. <laughs> tomorrow afternoon at 2 p.m. we are hosting a entrepreneurship workshop where we're going to focus on um, marketing, promotion methods, some social media strategies in order to help all the entrepreneurs in small businesses. Oh, excuse me, small businesses in Belize. We um, still have some open spots if okay. anyone is interested. So please um, contact Dr. Bab over here. And we are really looking forward to helping just the wider community as well. Oh, wow. So Beautiful. this is not just for the primary school students. This is something bigger that... For the small know, business owners oh, in Belize. For small yes. business owners. So we have already identified some small business owners and we have invited them. Like I have invited a teacher from the IT vet to come yeah. and to learn because these are business majors. Yeah. They have a lot to offer, you know. So it's on promotion, marketing. What else did you say? Uh, some social media strategies in order to reach uh, your customers. Oh, nice. Beautiful. And this is the world of technology. Like everybody mm -hmm. knows Absolutely. that as COVID came, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, TikTok. 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 They're like, and TikTok is one that you really got to figure out. How <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the craziness of it. So calling all business small business owners out there please if you're thinking you're trying to figure out how this thing works what button does what or what's the best <laughs> strategy to help you to get true to all of these people out there we're going to be having a small um is it like an open day kind of training that's going to be happening at 2 p.m tomorrow you can be able to contact dr bob can you give a number or something Six. for them we have spaces for like 10 persons oh so we have 10 slots guys 10 <laughs> slots <laughs> first yeah. come first serve yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Six seven zero. Five, five, six, eight. So, guys, the number is there. There's 10 slots available. They're going fast, quick, like hot tortilla. So, please, by all means, make sure you go and check it out. This is going to be... There's nothing to lose here. I believe it's free. It's free. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. I can just double check. And just <laughs> Maybe so, like so, Renata, if you have your side hustle, you are invited. Kevin, too. <laughs> oh, Thank you. Thanks I feel like, that. you know, Kev... Why don't we have to go? Because we don't want to take with somebody's slot. That is true. So we want to like share it. Okay. okay? So there's going to be nine slots available now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but just like that, we just want to thank you so much for being here. Thank Continue you. Continue the great work. When are you guys leaving? As well. On Saturday. So you guys have a short time, but mm -hmm. get all the bunch out of it. I hope it's feed that good try out of the Belizean yeah, food. We've been eating so much good so, food. It's, it's <laughs> incredible. The Belizean food, it's so good. So good. So you see, you have a reason to come back. Besides uh, oh, 100%. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the music, I know you're going to teach us some, your, your husband is teach some music. Music, yes. Music. They, um, they were dancing at my house in yeah. the evening. Yeah. Yeah. Dr. Oh. Bad taught us a slow, slow tornado. So that's why they were able to <laughs> yeah. do so well, guys. Apparently, she's I raising need, I them up. I need to go to Harvard classes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Kevin, yeah. you need classes. I'll indeed. go with you. I'll go with you. <laughs> Dance off between Dr. Bob and Kevin. <laughs> slow tornado. Shall we see it? We yes, shall. We shall yes. see it, yeah. But thank you guys so much for being here. Good luck. Remember tomorrow, the workshop for social media interaction, guys. Promotion and marketing is at 2 p.m. Contact Dr. Bob so you can be able to ten nine slots available yes. for you to get the helpful information. It's all about promotion, getting to know your business and seeing how you can market yourself. How you can grow your business. Exactly. And that's what we want to do. We don't want to stay stagnant, guys. Right. We want to grow. We want to up and elevate. And so with that, 
We thank you. And we're going to go to our commercial break. But when we're back, we're going to wrap up today's show. Stay tuned.